wearing green, bright green today. Uh, we want to say thank you to all of you guys for making this a fantastic day uh, and a fantastic 10th National Cross Country Championship. Uh, before we get going with awards, we want to, uh, there's a few people individually we want to thank. Uh, we had a lot of people that put, well, 10 years has gone into this day today to see 1,500 runners out here. So congrats to all you guys on coming out, putting in many, many hours, not only training, but one of the coolest things about America, as you guys all know, is you're all managing your clubs, you're managing travel, you're coaching, you're doing all these types of things. So thanks for all the work that officers, members, club sports staff do to make this all possible. For today, uh, we've really been working towards this day for over a year. Um, really been planning closely with groups here in Lexington to make this 10th year championship a fun uh, and just really memorable event. So a few people we want to call out in particular, the Kentucky Sports Authority, uh, proud sponsor of today's race. Uh, they've been a good supporter of ours. Also Kentucky Track and Cross Country Coaches Association, the KTCCA. They have been uh, really a driving force for us behind uh, the meet operations and just a lot of different people today. Um, touch base on them in a moment. Uh, SOS Rehydrate, if you had a chance to grab some sample, SOS Rehydrate next to the packet pickup tent. Uh, they're a great partner that we've been able to work with this year and hopefully uh, you guys will be interested in some of the stuff they have. They have a great rehydration product. product. Uh, also Fine Designs, our merchandise partner who was out here today. So a lot of you guys wearing their gear around Thank you for supporting and wearing the NERCA logo proudly, and they'll have stuff online as well. So if you didn't see something you liked today, uh, check their online store. That link is on clubrunning.org. Uh, finally, I want to thank uh, Tease Grab and Go, our concessionaire today, who also was so gracious in providing a pasta buffet last night. Um, those of you who were there, how was, how was the pasta? How was the food? All right. Not too bad for 8.50. So thanks to those guys for providing that option. I want to thank all of our volunteers out here today. Uh, we had a lot of great people supporting. Uh, many of them are alumni, parents, uh, folks that have been behind NERCA since the start. So thank you guys for being out here and making this possible. Uh, finally, uh, leading with the Kentucky Track and Cross Country Coaches Association, really want to thank Frank McClavick and his crew. Frank, uh, you probably saw him today. You probably didn't know who he was because he's very nondescript, but and he's currently leading behind you. He's leading a race of seven kids in a youth cross country race out here, kids that really care about it, which kind of shows very uh, apt uh, what the kind of guy that Frank is. He's been behind the scenes for this entire event start to finish for a year. So how about a big hand for the guy driving the golf cart back there? Thank you, Bob, and his great group of people. All right, with that, we're going to get going. I'm um, going to turn it over to Tommy Otterbein, who's the finance director for NERCA, and our, our local historian as well. Thanks guys, just a couple more things before we get started with the awards ceremony. Um, great kid upon it, but this is our 10th NARCA National Championship. And um, I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for being a part of this for the last decade. For all of us in green today, that you see most, most of us have been here since the start. Since 2005, 2006, when we were presidents of running clubs. Uh, when there wasn't a NARCA, there wasn't a way to compete against one another. And we just kind of had this idea, let's get everybody together and see if we can come up with a race. Well, that race with a couple clubs, maybe 10 clubs that existed in the country at that point, has turned into 1,500 runners, over 120 schools in NERCA this year, and thousands of runners crossing finish lines this fall. It's really a testament to you guys believing in what this is. Um, inclusion for everyone that we don't have qualifiers to get you here, that everybody can come and run as long as they meet the eligibility criteria, and that's something that we've really, really built this on and kept it going over the years. Um, so I hope you guys had a great day. This was a very, very special day for our council, so thank you for being a part of it and making it happen. Results, you heard me announce it a few times, results are online on clubrunning.org. Uh, those are unofficial. If there are any changes, we will get them made as quickly as possible. And the official final results with no changes should go live no later than 9 p.m. tonight. But you can find current results up there right now. 
Uh, you can view video of the race on Periscope. Uh, be sure to follow our app, at NERCA. Um, there's links to it on our Twitter account. You also may have noticed that we had people videotaping the race, both on the ground and from drones up in the air. We will be compiling race footage and have commentary, uh, at least on the A races. We're going to work on that tonight, and it should be published by tomorrow at some point. So you'll be able to watch video recaps of the race this year. Um, continue to follow us uh, on Facebook and Twitter, social media accounts. We'll have some big announcements in the coming weeks about the location for Winter Conference. Winter Conference is a great way for you guys to continue to be a part of NERCA, to help us make decisions, to look to the future. So if you can attend our Winter Conference event, again, we'll be posting the location and more information soon. We're also in the final stages of finalizing a contract for 2016 Cross Country Nationals. Uh, that is not finalized yet, so we cannot announce it today but expect it in the next week or so, we'll have a, a location and date for our 2016 National Championships in cross country. Our Spring National Championships for 2016 are already posted. It will be April 9th, April 8th and 9th weekend in Bloomington, Indiana uh, at the IE Track and Field Complex and partnering once again with the Hoosier Half Marathon for the Half Marathon National Championship. Yeah. And then just a couple of housekeeping things. Um, make sure to participate in our post-event survey that will be emailed out. Um, and also just make sure to clean up your tent areas after the award ceremony. Um, Greg thanked all these great people down here in Lexington, and we really want to leave the course looking as well as it did at 6.30 this morning when we got here. So uh, please make sure you pick up your trash and take everything with you. With that, we'll get started with the awards. We're going to be handing out medals to the th top 30 individuals in the A races for men and women and the top three teams from the A races. Beginning with the women's race. In 30th place, from Penn State University, Shannon Wagner. In, in 29th place, from the University of North Carolina, Caroline Jennings. In 28th place, from North Carolina State University, Carmen Davis. In 27th place, from the University of Oregon, Megan Cooperis. In 26th place, from Penn State University, Naomi Nulet. In 25th place, from Michigan State University, Nicole Mosteller. In 24th place, from the University of North Carolina, Helen Morgan. In 23rd place, from Penn State University, Caitlin Spangler. In 22nd place, from the University of Virginia, Hannon Zeidler. In 21st place, representing the University of Pittsburgh, Susan Gogniet. In 20th place, from the University of Wisconsin, Rissa Lane. In 19th place, also from the University of Wisconsin, Rachel Anderson. In 18th place, from the University of Notre Dame, Tammy Del Ponte. In 
in 17th place from the University of Dayton, Rose Minihurt. In 16th place, from Indiana University, Emily Wagoner. In 15th place, from Penn State University, Jenny Heaton. In 14th place, representing Virginia Tech, Paige McCauley. In 13th place, from the University of Oregon, Dana Fry. In 12th place, from Michigan State University, Aaron Zimmer. <laughs> In 11th place, from the University of Missouri, Caitlin Hammonds. In 10th place, from the University of Georgia, Bree Ragsdale. In 9th place, from the University of Illinois, Beth McGreal. In 8th place, from Northeastern University, Chelsea Wojeski. In seventh place, from the University of Michigan, Molly Husinga. In sixth place, from the University of Michigan, Ann Menifee. In fifth place, for the time of 22:49, from Harvard University, Kate Carter. In fourth place, for the time of 22:46, from the University of Virginia, Nicole Duma. In third place, in a time of 22:41, from Indiana University, Leslie Kovach. In second place, in a time of 22:21, from the University of Illinois, Megan McCogney. And here in 2015, Nurka national champion in the women's race, in a time of 22 minutes flat, from Georgetown University, Caitlin Johnson. an official copy of the NERCA 6K course. <laughs> That's all right. In 30th place from the University of Kansas, Avery Hale. 
In 29th place from the University of Notre Dame, Cole Winthizer. In 28th place from Purdue University, David Evans. In 27th place, from Penn State University, Mark Quilio. In 26th place, from Penn State University, Max Petrowski. In 25th place, from North Carolina State University, Max Chandler II. In 24th place, from the University of Maryland, Patrick Hanley. In 23rd place, from the University of Illinois, Michael Frittner. In 22nd place, from the University of California, Davis, Clancy McConnell. In 21st place, from the University of Pennsylvania, Ian Whittall. In 20th place, from Penn State University, Timothy Appman. In 19th place, from the University of Wisconsin, Joseph Pendleton. Fritner. In 18th place, from the University of Maryland, Andrew Ceruzzi. In 17th place, from the University of Michigan, Andy Beck. In 16th place, from the University of Wisconsin, Matthew Kubik. In 15th place, from the University of Wisconsin, Dylan Souter. In 14th place, from the University of California, Davis, John Horvath. In 13th place, from the University of California, Davis, Adam Cobert. In 12th place, from Penn State University, John Lacey. In 11th place, from Iowa State University, Grayson Dolzal. In 10th place, from the University of California, Davis, Nathan Kwan. In 9th place, from the University of Kansas, Ben Wellwood.
in eighth place, from the University of Pennsylvania, Nathan Ennist. In seventh place, from Indiana University, John Darmody. In sixth place, from the University of Pennsylvania, Garrett Davies. In fifth place, a time of 25-17, from Indiana University, Jacob Baranowski. In fourth place, a time of 25-11, from the University of Michigan, Avi Bregman. In third place, in a time of 2506, from the University of Oregon, Ryan Jones. Yeah, Ryan. In second place, in a time of 2505, representing the University of Maryland, Chris Steenkamer. And your 2015 NERCA Men's National Champion, covering the Masterson Station course in 24 minutes, 59 seconds, from Iowa State University, Robert Scanlon. Rob also receives a copy of the official 8K men's matter. Yeah! Let's hear it for your 2015 NERCO Men's All-Americans. Yeah. place with 298 points, Wisconsin. In ninth place with 291, Michigan State. In eighth place with 252, Oregon. In seventh place with 237, Georgetown. In sixth place with 216, Indiana. In fifth place with 190, Illinois. In fourth place with 184 points, North Carolina. In third place with 163 points, the University of Michigan, Ann Arbor. Woo! University of Michigan, if you could come up for your team trophy. In second place, scoring 155 points, the University of Virginia.
Congratulations, UVA! I had a look, then I got to that mess, and I knew I was catching it. And you're 2015, NERCA national team champion on the women's side, scoring 121 points, Penn State University. This is the fourth national title for Penn State, extending their own record in NERCA. Our winning teams also get copies of the official course map. There are two official course maps. Ten teams in the men's race. In 10th place with 319 points, Maryland. In 9th place with 315, Virginia. In 8th place with 261, Oregon. In 7th place with 241, Michigan. In 6th place with 222, Iowa State. In 5th place with 188 points, Wisconsin. In 4th place with 187, Pennsylvania. In 3rd place with 149 points, Indiana University. Let's hear it for IU. In second place, scoring 125 points, Penn State University.
In year 2015, NERCO Men's Cross Country National Champions, scoring 106 points, the University of California, Davis. This is UC Davis's first national championship in their first trip to nationals. Yeah, a little bit more.